the web is transparent, the web is open, everyone's welcome. And so I think that the open newsroom in Torrington is a physical embodiment of that ideal. Can you bring everyone into the discussion? Torrington will become the model for every newsroom we have at JRC. It'll take some time. We're not going to do this by, you know, by, by tomorrow or next week or even next year. But starting with the dailies, which is our, our biggest newsrooms, we're going to, one by one, turn them into open to the public newsrooms. Who doesn't want to have their website linked to a newspaper? And that's phenomenal in itself. People know you because you're on the registered citizen. This is a story of reinvention, experimentation, and innovation. This is the Register Citizen Open Newsroom. It has been an amazing experience, and I've been able to network with the reporters via Facebook and Twitter, you know, following them. And also, I've been learning a lot from them and how they write. So it has helped me kind of work on my site a little more as well. So anybody from the community can walk in and suggest a story. They don't have to be afraid of the reports, like, oh my God, they're going to attack me or something. Uh, you've got the community right there at your doorstep. And what the community has done with the Registered Citizen is they have welcomed them. They have welcomed the change. From the day we started in this building, we were told that the public would have access to us. We were told that we did not have walls around our cubicles for a reason, that there were no partitions. There would not be anything obstructing the public's view or our view from each other. Torrington is an old mill town without any mills in it anymore. So it's, it's a city that's really trying to find its way like a lot of New England manufacturing towns. And so it's caught between a couple of different economies, the old manufacturing base, you know, small startups, and um, kind of this burgeoning arts and culture scene and, and uh, efforts to revitalize the downtown. When Governor Malloy had his town hall meeting in Torrington, there was a lot of ripple of excitement He's had a sort of an interesting relationship with the press since he was elected. He doesn't really like how intrusive the press can be. Well, you're the governor of the state of Connecticut and you're taxing everything to try to bring the deficit down, so we're going to be on your case all the time. So he came here because it's Torrington, and he came here because we're the Daily. We sat in the cafe and interviewed him. We videotaped it. We streamed it live. Um, it was really the first time that we had a public, an open to the public sort of forum with the governor in the newsroom cafe. It was sort of, I felt like I was, it was one of our inaugural events. The Register Citizen today, you're not going to see a press room, you're not going to see a line of circulation trucks. It's uh, really, we're focusing on our core of advertising sales and journalism and we're working every day to free journalists up to do journalism instead of being focused on getting a print edition and pages out the door. You know, we seek to partner with the audience at every step of the process of local journalism. And so even at the story assignment phase, when we have our meetings to sit around and talk about what we're going to do that day, the public is, has a seat at the table with us. If you look on the chat, there's a lot of people weighing in and listening. They're not often saying anything, but they're there. If somebody makes a comment or a suggestion or asks a question, we will stop what we're doing and acknowledge that they're asking that question, try to answer it or get back to them. We want them to stick their nose in. We want to know. I don't always like what I hear, but I want to know. So I would encourage people to sign up for a class. What do I need to know about that for? Well, why not? Are you curious at all about the newspaper and what it's doing? Come on over and take a class. It won't cost you anything. It's an hour of your time. What is the registered citizen going to look like three years from now? I think the neat thing is that we don't know, but we're trying to set ourselves up uh, to be structured so that we're flexible enough to react to that, to the technology of tomorrow and the reader habits of tomorrow.